Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you two different ways to make a dinosaur today. So first we're gonna go through the steps to draw a dinosaur, and then I'm gonna show you a different thing you can do to draw some shapes, and then practice your cutting skills to cut out the shapes and make a dinosaur. All right, so first we'll get started. We're gonna make a friendly dinosaur. It says how to draw and make a friendly dinosaur. Here we go. So I have my paper. I'm gonna put that in the middle and I have my marker. Keep the hat nearby right here on the end. All right, so I don't lose it. Okay, so first I'm going to start with an oval. Okay, it's gonna go this way. We're gonna make the dinosaur's body. So I'm gonna go kind of in the middle because I'm gonna draw a tail over here. So I wanna have some space for his tail and then his head over here. So we're just gonna draw an oval around and come back to the top. Okay, then I'm going to draw another oval up here for his head kind of smaller. So I'm gonna come up here, make another oval shape like that. Okay, so now let's draw some lines to attach his head to his body. So straight line down there, straight line down there. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna put his tail on and I'm just gonna make like a triangle. So I'm gonna just go out and then back down triangle okay has three sides you can kind of see it one two three okay now i'm going to draw some rectangles at the bottom for his legs so down across and up rectangles have four sides so long line short line back up another long line space so four rectangles for his legs. Okay, I think I've got the parts for my dinosaur's body. Now we're just gonna go back and add some details. So I'm gonna draw an eye so he can see. So it's a circle. And then I'm gonna draw another smaller circle inside. Okay, he needs kind of a mouth. There we go. Sort of looks like a triangle. I could draw some lines for teeth there, okay. And since we have been talking a lot about shapes, I could use um, some shapes to decorate my dinosaur or give them some details, okay. So I could make some triangles up on his head there. And your dinosaur can definitely look different than my dinosaur. I'm just giving you some ideas. I could draw some rectangles that kind of look like stripes. And then I might make some more, I might make some more triangles down his neck, up and down, okay. And then on his body down here, I could draw some circles, give him some spots, okay. Maybe draw some smaller circles. Um, I could put some triangles on his tail. One, two, maybe a little one there, three. Uh, let's see, we can make some little toes. We'll just make some bumps on his feet. So he has some toes. Bump, bump. That's kind of fun. I might put some bumps on his back too. Bump, 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 up and around, practicing these lines. All right, well, there's my dinosaur. He looks kind of friendly to me. And I'm gonna go back and just color him in a little bit. And um, again, you get to choose what colors you like on your dinosaur. So I'm gonna fast forward through this part, but um, um, we'll come back at the ends.
Okay, so I'm about finished with my dinosaur. I'm gonna draw a ground so he has somewhere that he can walk. So he's not floating in the air. So there's the ground. Maybe I'll add a sun at the top, a yellow sun, circle, color it in. Then I'm gonna add some lines around it for the sun's rays all around. And you'll see I used all different colors to color my dinosaur. I have blue circles, and I used the same color for the triangles. I used what color? Yellow. And then my dinosaur is mostly green. Yeah. So I would love for you to try this out. Send us a picture. Tell us what your dinosaur is doing or where he's going or what shapes and colors you used. And all right, I'm going to show you one more way to make a dinosaur. Okay, friends, so here we go on step two. And since I know so many of you are practicing with your cutting skills, I thought I would show you another way that you can make a dinosaur. So all you're going to need are two pieces of paper, two different colored pieces of paper. So I just have some pink construction paper that I'm going to draw my dinosaur body parts on. And then I'm gonna need another piece of paper to glue it. So first we're going to draw the shapes. Then we're going to cut, and then we're gonna glue them on another piece of paper. So, when I looked at my dinosaur, I noticed just a few shapes. So I needed a small oval for the head, right? I needed a big oval for the body. So you can draw this or you can have a mom or a dad or a brother or sister help you draw this. So we needed a small oval, a big oval. We needed kind of a big triangle for the tail. Kind of a long one. Still has three sides. One, two, three. And then I just needed some rectangles for the legs. So I'm gonna draw four rectangles. One, two, three, and four. That's about it. And then I can always go back and cut out little triangles or cut out little circles or anything else I want to do to add details. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my shapes and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them. So I'm gonna cut a little at a time, right on the line, right? Our thumb is up and we open and close. Make sure you're moving your hand. You can turn, use this hand to help you turn the paper and hold the paper a little at a time, right on the line, a little at a time, right on the line. Okay, I got one down. I just have a few more to go. Here I go. friends so I've got my pieces and now I can just put my dinosaur together in whichever way I want I mean I might put my tail I'm gonna kind of make him look like the one we just did oh you know what friends I just realized we needed one more rectangle so I'll just go ahead and do that now right I needed a rectangle for the neck I forgot that part that's okay we can fix this so I'm just gonna use part of my scrap paper. Now I have a head and a neck and a body and a tail and four little feet. There I go. And then I can glue them down. 
I can put some detail in there with markers or crayons and just have fun. Can't wait to see your dinosaurs.